Hello there everyone and I hope you're doing fantastic today. We want to take a look today at logic gates within Grasshopper. This also applies to other scripting languages or visual coding software. Here we have the different logic gates and I want to go through each or one of them by explaining it one by one in this video. So if you want to know how it works, then let's get into it. So first of all, we need to have a logic of something. So we are taking a look if those cylinders are inside and if those cylinders are big. Those are the two things we're comparing it against. Down here you have a basic example how this would look like. So zero would be no, it would not be big. And a zero here would be no, it is not inside. And then you would also see the result. And obviously you will see a visual representation of that here on the left side. So first of all, is the cylinder big? It shows all the big cylinders being big. Are the cylinders inside? It shows all the cylinders inside. Are the cylinders not big? Then it shows me all the cylinders who are not big. Is the cylinder outside? Then it shows me all the cylinders who are outside. Now we do a combination of those two parameters. So in this case, if the cylinder is big and inside, it shows me only those couple in here. And the next one, we take a look at if the cylinders are big or inside. So this almost includes all of them. The next one will be a little bit more tricky, the XOR gate. This basically sh shows me if it's big or inside but not both or nothing of those two. And you also see the representation here how it would work. So if it's not big, not inside, it gives me zero. But if it is one of those two, it is true. And if two of them true are true, it is not true. Then the next gate is the XNOR gate, which basically says if it's big and inside, or small and outside. And you see the representation down here again. The next gate is the not and or NAND gate. Basically sa says only the ones that are not big and inside. So those ones. The next one will be the NOR gate, which is neither big nor inside. And those are basically all the different operators. You always see the results in here. So not big, not inside, it's true. Either one of those true, it is also true. So this is basically a handy visual representation of those things. If I'm here, this is the whole grasshopper file. I will show this, I will, this will be linked down in the description so you can download it. But again, those are the, the quick results. I just go through them just once time again um, in a very quick measure. So is it big? Is it inside? Is it not big? Is it not inside? Is it big and inside? Is it big or outside? Uh, or inside? Is it big or inside, but not both, but not both or nothing? And if it's big and inside or small and outside, and only the ones that are not big and not big and inside, or the ones that are neither big nor outside. And you will always see the representation of those in here. So yeah, with that said, 
Thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope you learned a bit. I hope I didn't make a mistake when talking. It is a bit confusing sometimes in the head, but um, you have a, always a very defined code base on there where you can take a look at those and see what the result would be with that. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, hope you see you in the next one and have a great day.